Good evening, everyone. Christian Kraswitz here. Tonight, I wanted to talk about Apple iOS and how do I take a screenshot with my iOS device. Now, you're wondering why I didn't just say iPhone, uh, but iOS is actually the operating system that Apple uses on their iPhone, their iPad, as well as their iPod Touch. So if you have one of these devices, you can easily take a screenshot with the same commands. Now, you're probably wondering, why would I want to do this? Well, there are three practical applications when you might want to do this. One would be, say I'm driving somewhere that has really poor reception. Instead of actually going into the Maps application and trying to find directions to a place and getting frustrated because I've got really poor service, that I can easily take a screenshot of the directions and have it with me. That way, if I do lose service, I can refer to them. A second way you would want to use a screenshot would be, say, you've, say you're on a website and you wanted to send somebody that, a picture of that website or something you saw online, okay? Well, yes, I can go email you the link to that, but say you don't get to it for another you know, day. By that time, the website have, has probably changed and I'm probably not gonna see the same link and this, or the same picture in this case, you know, this picture that other people did. So a third way you might wanna use a screenshot would be if I'm in an application, um, say I am getting ready to board a flight, okay, and I'm at the airport, and I've been emailed my boarding pass, okay? Um, I can take a screenshot of basically anything that's on the screen, in this case, my boarding pass, and I can easily keep it open in the photos section um, to where all I have to do is show it to the people on the plane, they scan it, and I get on the plane. So those are just three ways you can do this. Um, there are a couple of other ones. Uh, for instance, you know, say you were on a coupon site, like a Living Social, for instance, um, and you had a coupon code or something there, uh, you could also keep that open. But again, those are just a number, a couple of applications of how you can use this. So to get started, it's really simple. I just want to walk you through a couple of examples. The first example, like I said, was um, say I want to take a picture of the Maps application. So I have done a search on visiting this place. Okay, and of course you see here, you know, I can navigate one, one through five. I got a bunch of steps. Well. Uh, one way you can do this is there is a little section in the bottom uh, corner, this little flip up page. If I tap it, it brings up a list feature here. Okay. So if I go tap on list, I now get a list of directions to the place that I want to go to. And what you can do is what you want to do is you want to make sure, you know, you, you get everything you want in the screenshot. In this case, I got the five steps. And all you do is this, you hold the home button, which is at the bottom. So you press this first and you hit the power button at the top. So let's go back into the application, sorry. So you hold the home button and you quickly push the power button on the top. And what that will do is it will take a screenshot. And now that you have your screenshot, you're probably wondering, well, how do I access that screenshot? It's really simple. You go to the photos section, the photos icon on your phone, and you click on the image and there you have it. I have a screenshot of directions that I can take with me. And of course, if I wanna email this to somebody as well, I can also click the neat little feature in here to email a photo to somebody. And that way the person will um, also have the same directions that I have. So moving on to the second example, the second example was, for instance, uh, going to a website. Say I wanna to go to a website again, we're gonna do this again. Um, I've got my website there. In this case, I'm going to cut out the URL. Let's just say I wanted to include that. I scroll down. I shrink everything to what I want people to see. In this case, I could grab the URL at the top. Okay, if that's what I want people to see. Or I could say, hey, you know what? Oh, hey, did you see that article on the homepage? This is what it is in case you need to get to it. So what do we do? Two, two buttons. That's it. Hold the home button. Hit the power button. Look at that. You see that flash that just happened? That was your camera taking a screenshot. And so once you're done, again, you go into photos, you go into your uh, photo section here, and look at that. I have a beautiful screenshot that I can then email to somebody um, or do whatever I want with it. So uh, there you have it. It's really simple. Two commands, home button, power button. You hold the home button for a couple, you, you basically push down and hold and hit the power button and it flashes. If your phone doesn't flash, you didn't take a screenshot. There you have it.
That's how to take a screenshot on your Apple iOS device, iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch. Have a great evening, everyone. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.